Hi there. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mark from the Capo. And before I go into today's session about uh, that, yet again, another video that I posted about that the industry is delusional, it's been hidden behind a age restriction. A general warning to the public, this is a mature channel with mature content for a mature audience. I'm highly opinionated, and if you feel or felt offended in any way possible, please seek your nearest counsel. Don't bother me with it. Terms and services on my channel are as follows. I did not force you to watch my channel. I did not force you to watch my content. If you have any problems with me, my channel, or my content, then get some professional counseling. I told you numerous times, as soon as I start exposing the industry, YouTube or, or Google is, uh, is participating on this nonsense that every time I lay the truth about the uh, disgusting practices of the industry and their fakeism, their nepotism, their elitism, their everything is predetermined, um, everybody's in the same committee and that they are literally ruining fucking people's lives socially, yeah, that they're violating uh, their own code of conduct, that they're violating their own terms of services, yeah, in the greater good of their fucking investors, shareholders and board members, yeah, then my video is age restricted to 18 plus. But when they're sitting online selling shit that is fucking not right, when they are mis when they're distributing mis misleading marketing, misinformation and disinformation about fucking video games, if they are releasing video games, yeah, that are is E for everybody, just like their mamas, yeah, then it is okay for them to fucking have a free-to-play game or free-to-play model of a game. Nothing is working except the goddamn cash shop. And there is nobody doing something about it. Yeah, then you see no age restrictions on their fucking videos. If you are a content creator for these fucking motherfuckers and you are in a CC program or an affiliation program or they contact you and give you a PDF exactly what to highlight into, into your video and they're giving you 4K or 8K resolution fucking videos that are 600 time renders on their tuned by NASA PCs over there, yeah, then it's okay for them, then you're not going to be uh, categorized as 18 plus, right? Then you have no age restriction on your fucking video, yeah, because that is what they want. The gaming industry is a whole shit bag of fucking personality disorders, yeah, that are thinking that they're above the law and that there um, that there are gods, yeah. So in a different spectrum of narcissism, a god complex, yeah, because they can do whatever the fuck they want because you have to sign their EULA or end user license agreement before you can play a game. There is no option as a person or a sovereign person yet yeah, to say I don't want well, I am not agreeing with your goddamn fucking terms of services. How about you signing my terms of services yeah in response? The people who are enabling this are very wealthy individuals, multi-billion dollar fucking companies with policies and I told you numerous times their policies are being harder enforced than actually the laws at this moment that should prevent these companies yeah, to completely ruining people socially uh, and, and um, mentally, um, will deprive them of fucking humanity, um, ruin them um, uh, from the from the jobs and things like that, but they just don't fucking care, yeah. And only what they care is another 16 year old toxic fucking positive fucking moron who will yap crack and act like a fucking suit, gets a piece of the pie. The only fucking thing that they're doing is continuously having uh, rich bitch children of fucking societies sitting there at fucking high end fucking places, not doing anything. Look, we have a degree. Yes, we learned like a little slave how to answer questions that they're asking us. So yeah, this is an absolutely fucking great job, guys. So yet again, one of my um, videos has been, been age restricted and the video was titled um, The um, Vermintide 2, um, The Delusional Gaming Industry. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's okay, just the way it is. So um, today I'm going to try to farm some Emperor's Chess. Um, as I told you yesterday, I was a little bit um, agitated about the fucking fact that um, I've been farming all week for Emperor's chest and I only had about seven chests in the whole week. Of course, uh, you have to do uh, play higher difficulties and you have to get everything in the game um, to, to get a chance of an Emperor's chest. If I do solo play, I need to have at least three golden cubes yeah, on um, recruit difficulty to get an Emperor's chest. If I do not get three golden cubes in a run, I do not get an Emperor's Chest. So yesterday I did a solo run, yet again, 
and I got an Emperor of Chess. Uh, I will let you see uh, right here if I able to lock in because uh, somehow the game now has fucking huge problem as well co-op as well multiplayer as well everything else as you can see i have yet again one emperor box and as you can see it doesn't prompt this is one of the emperor boxes right this is when you play on recruit let let that be something that you have to be aware of you also have these emperor scoffers but uh, you need to play on harder difficulty. How hard the difficulty is, yeah, the um, better loot drop chances of the of the coffer, right? The box, the strong box coffer. So yeah, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to farm for these emperor boxes on the level that I know best, yeah, and that is of course the level with the bell, right? But instead, I will I will go into veteran to see if I have a better chance for that. Um, yeah, guys, um, I'm so sorry for everything. I'm not going to be a toxic negative person in 2023. Uh, but uh, to be honest, this is going on for more than 10 years. Every game hacked, every account hacked, inventory theft, valuta theft, data theft, mockery, talking shit about me, um, a group, uh, a whole group of people um, relentlessly following me around as a stock and psychopath and maniacs and sociopaths that will not leave me alone on this goddamn Sony PlayStation Network. Um, Sony is a disgusting platform to be on. If you ever have a problem, if you ever get your account hacked, if you ever have a fucking problem with people relentlessly following you around from England, Germany, Belgium, Spain, and fucking America, then your life is fucking over. Yeah? Because they're all bitch-ass motherfuckers with, 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 uh, with uh, um, rich investors of people in their hack organization, hack groups, 15, 16 old fucking kids with fucking fake communities. Yeah, raiding each other, or you used to call that botting, botting other people's content, yeah, so fake meta criticism, fake positive re reviews, fake fucking comments, yeah, so uh, botting comments, botting views, um, botting every fucking thing, it's now called raiding, so they slapped on a different name, and now it is fucking suddenly legal, um, this is what the companies are doing, they will not uphold their own terms of services, they will not up uphold their own code of conduct, they are sitting there with dev kits, Q&A tools, ruining people's lives. Yeah, because an investor or a CEO board member, shareholder, yeah, or their kids are sitting there and needs to have the sponsor contract and the deals. They need to have the partnerships and they will don't give an F about who they're ruining, whose social life they're ruining and how much fucking harm they're causing mentally and physically. Yeah, and depriving somebody from a complete humanity. Yeah, because these fucking people are relentless. So with that being said, one of my videos has been age restricted, uh, but it seems like the gaming industry doesn't, uh, doesn't get age restriction on their video. Uh, if they are, they're, they're not, Ooh, they're not being the honest. They're showing you rendered, rendered slices of fucking cutscenes, so in-game videos, and then say it, is, it was in-game, and you don't I see any gameplay. And this shit, they, this shit they can go on and on and on. So you 100% know that politicians and judges have been bought over yeah, to enforce their policies instead of enforcing your legal rights, enforcing the constitutional laws, enforcing your user and consumer rights. Yeah, they don't fucking do that anymore. Yeah, the whole, it's like living fucking on hell. This planet, it's not Eden anymore that is promised to us. Living in Eden, it's a fucking shit hellhole where everybody's selling their soul to the devil. Yeah, and toxic, positive, naive fucking people. And everybody who speaks up against them or have a different opinion and has a platform is going to be ruined. Socially ruined, financially ruined, yeah, deprived of humanity. Yeah, it is, an, it is, it is an, a complete fucking shit fest. And you can clearly see it with, uh, with people. All over the world, people are getting murdered, disappear. Yeah, if they are not extreme left, if they don't give a fuck about BLM, yeah, if they say uh, all lives matter, no matter which religion, color, or, or what, what you're coming from, yeah, then, then we're all fucking uh, bigotries and bigotries. We're all racist, then we're all uh, white, uh, um, uh, white, uh, um, biased, uh, um, racist uh, people. It's, it's an absolute fucking shit, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sick and tired of telling you fucking people the way it is. You're on my profile, you're continuously complaining about everything. 
the filing and complaints continuously. Yeah, it is an absolute fucking shit fan. And somebody who is fucking putting my um, my um, videos at 18 plus or adults only is uh, manually be looked at. Yeah, so there is somebody checking out my content on my profile on my YouTube channel. Yeah, and he did decide to put 18 plus. But in the meanwhile, we have missed and information from the from these companies, from these multi-billion globalistic Machiavellianism fucking companies, these Marxist and fucking assholes. Yeah. And they won't do shit about it. They can just fucking spew out the lies and the deception yeah, to the fucking public without any repercussions. The gaming industry in a nutshell. Let's jump in and can see if we can get some Emperor's chest. Bit of rain today. There's a warpstone bell up on Helmgart's walls, and that's no good for anyone. It's even giving the mayflies sore ears and have a headache fit to crack a stone. So, there's nothing else for it. We'll have to teach the rat men the value of silence. The bells can be charged with a monstrous level of slave and magic. You can't have that, can you? Supposedly, it was a great bell that transformed the Skaven thus. How about we move a little quicker and talk a little less for once? I haven't learned anything in minutes. Ah, fine shot, diplomacy. Filthy bomb, but useful.
practice of life. Gaslat! Gaslat's dead! Slaughter don't get easier to see. Shield vermin hiding among them! John Wright, get clear! Uh, can you please come over here? Because you're fucking dragging the boss away. It's not taking the fucking grimoire that I want. Can you please come over here? There's little chance of this peace lasting. The rats will return. The rats. Here, cut your ears on that. Brought up a more fire I'm sorry guys, I should have I should have I should have tried to privatize it. Rachel, right? Die! Half past you will trouble us no more! 
gun rat. Must be this way. We'll be fine, so long as the dead stay dead. Come on, up here!
That ogre was no match for dwarven steel. You are Grimke, that's a fact. Let us hope that is so. Either pull me up or funnel ale down me gob. Next time, I'll leave you down there. And uh, because of that other fucking guy died now, Red Phantom, we lost a fucking tomb and we lost a fucking Grimmer, right? So um, I'm gonna privatize this fucking next run because I don't wanna have this fucking happening ever again. I'm farming Empress boxes, guys, and you can clearly see what happens, right? A guy comes in here and fucking dies. He loses the fucking Grimmar, he loses the fucking tome. Yeah, and it fucking sets you back. So I hardly get fucking any XP now. So this is a fucking wasted run because fucking Mr. Red Phantom here, yeah, fucking doesn't know how to fucking play the game. You can say he's only level 18. Yeah, I don't fucking care about this. Yeah, it's only level fucking 18. They come in here, yeah, they fucking die. They lose, they lose all their hard work. Yeah, for what reason? Yeah, because, but because they're inadequate to stay alive. So here you see a fucking wasted run and this is how it always goes when I fucking play, when, when I'm doing a run with fucking people online. If I play with bots, my bots, my bots are better than fucking random players online. My bots are better teammates than random players online. And here you can see a fucking soldier's coffee because Mr. Red Phantom, yeah, want to do big dick damage, runs off and fucking gets killed. Yeah, and this is the reason why I don't want to fucking play with people online anymore. Yeah, and this is the reason. Not even hard or difficult. Because you can see if you put it in fucking Vanderan, they just come in there to hop in your fucking game. Yeah, and then they're fucking losing all your fucking work and hard work. Yeah, it is a really shit fest. My, my bots are better than fucking these fucking people. My bots are doing a better job than these fucking people. It's an absolute shit fest, guys. And I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you, this every game. And this is the reason why you don't get Emperor's fucking chest. It's a chest. bit brisk out, but I guess you don't mind. There's a warpstone bell up on Helmgart's walls, and that's no good for anyone. And this is the reason why it's I get so fucking agitated. Think about it when you're doing this ten times a day, and ten stone. times fucking people jumping so, in, and ten times fucking people it. dying, and I'm, I'm, I'm losing their fucking tombs and everything. Yep. Yeah? 
Think about it for a fucking second. It is every gun a fucking gun. And then and you need to have these emperor tomes for the higher end fucking weapon. It's, it's a shit fest. Uh, it, it's, not, it's not fucking fun. It's said the bells can be charged with a monstrous level of slaven magic. We can't have that, can we? Scholars believe a bell created the skaven from man's festering hubris. How about we move a little quicker and talk a little less? I haven't burned anything in minutes. Come on, we kill her. Look everywhere. I don't know the one to get back. to use that. It's not like you've blood in your veins. I bleed as freely as the next gun.
are cornered. in common. They're all deluded and they all stink. The skaven's faster than it looks. Not so good in a fair fight, assassin. Blightstormers near mayflies. No, not the storm. Kill its master. We'll be fine, so long as the Sick dead man, stay man, dead. How's that? Oh,
I give you that. Your capacity for slaughter makes you a useful ally. We do fire out to deal with these lights. Two, some of us, Savage. Two, some of us. Shield Vermin, incoming! More Storm Vermin. Is there no end to them? worth the effort to make plays. Shut clear! 
as you clearly can see, the bots are far more reliable than the fucking people that I'm playing with. My bots are far, far more reliable for to do this run than I have to do with people. And I'm only playing on veteran. Far more reliable than fucking people. And this should be an Emperor's fucking coffer. And this is how I try to fucking farm my Emperor's coffers now. But you need to have three collected loot dices and it is not guaranteed that you get the free collected loot dices every time sometimes the ogres don't drop the loot dices and if they don't drop the loot dices and you don't find them in the game in a fucking box or something like that then you are not getting it so you need to have at least three of those loot dices or otherwise you are not get an emperor's coffer or an emperor's box Depends on the difficulty settings that you're playing at. Yeah. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know what the fuck this is. It's a bit brisk out, but I guess you don't mind. Well, so it just uh, it just reset it. Taste. Just reset it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. You can clearly see that if, if you're playing with other people online and they're dying, they will lose the Grimmars and they lose the tombs. Um, that's not what you want. The best thing that you can do for these, uh, um, for these Emperor's boxes and for these Emperor's chests here is just to, uh, to play solo with bots. Upgrade your bots like I've been doing all week. Upgrade your bots. And then the hero selection. Upgrade your bots. And then put your bot in here. And then just uh, walk with the bot. And get a team composition that is actually beneficial. So this is uh, a damage dealing. This is a range of damage dealing. This is a shield. Yeah, and I'm doing DPS. So to farm Emperor's boxes, create a team that is beneficial uh, to you. And go in there and trying to run it solo with bot that's the only only advice that i have to get emperor's boxes yeah because otherwise you just you just don't get shit emperor's boxes emperor's coffers yeah because um, yeah uh, as you can see the the loot the spoils of war loot is uh, it's nothing to go to write home about only blues soldiers coffer here it's also enough nothing in here a green and a blue, yeah, and a, a, a merchant's coffer. Let's see what that is. I got one um, uh, orange. So uh, information doesn't give information free on a medallion. It says only. Now, Carolian, only I upgrading to the next tier. Could you not shoot at my couriers? So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little bit uh, of uh, gameplay. Uh, maybe I just uh, have to record it on my PlayStation and then doing a voiceover. The quality then is much better. I don't know why it is. Um, with the streaming, I have a um, gigabit uh, network connection. That means uh, a pretty decent glass fiber connection. I have no idea why it is checkerboarding or fading like that, um, but it just it is what it is, right? I do not have uh, um, best streaming software, so yeah. To summon everything up for the first couple of for the first day, I had an absolutely amazing time with Vermintide 2. It is a fun game, especially when you're still upgrading your characters. Um, then the network attacks started to happen again. Then the modification of my account started to happen again. The no damage bullshit, the uh, uh, spawning in my ass bullshit, and crap like that. I went through the whole campaign about solo, yeah, without any help from anybody else, solo with bots. 
Um, now I'm trying to upgrade my characters, and now I'm in the, in the position where <laughs> I literally run the same map over and over and over, and over again to Elf get Emperor's boxes or Emperor's coffer, uh, coffers to, uh, um, to have literally a better chance of uh, getting the high-end loot. Um, yet again, my opinions uh, uh, about the gaming industry is formed by the negative uh, aspect of this for, uh, for more than a fucking decade being harassed and brutally victimized by rich individuals uh, on the Sony PlayStation Network um, with customer service support people that are harassing me, with uh, uh, people from the industry EA and DICE that are harassing me, people from um, Siena that is the main office in London that are harassing me. Uh, and I'm tired of this fucking crap to try to educate the youngs that if you ever have a problem with Sony and that um, your life is over. If you're having a problem with a shareholder, board member, investor or an entitled um, person, a, a son or a kid from a rich investor or anything else who doesn't fucking like you because you, you outperform them in the game, you're going to get shadow banned or you're, or you're on the blacklist for the rest of your life. Um, these fucking people can cheat their asses off. They're never going to get caught. I provided them numerous times um, everything that they needed, as in a worm for um, what they had on the PlayStation 3, these, um, the USB uh, modifications, USB save files that would give you free platinum, the USB mods uh, that could be used on, on, on PlayStation and things like that. I Numerous times, and they always say this cannot be done, I tested it numerous times. The uh, things are real. It can be done, and uh, they're just sticking their head in the sand because as soon as they deny it, the problem doesn't exist. And if the problem doesn't exist, they don't create a solution. The only times when they create a solution to a problem is when they create the problem themselves. That's when they create a solution for it. Yeah, because uh, then everybody needs to pat them on the back. What an amazing fucking uh, uh, company they are. Which I'm telling you right now, it's more than a fucking decade. The gaming roots. industry is ginormously corrupt it's not just the gaming industry it is every multinational business at this moment yeah every globalist multinational billionaire fucking business is corrupt like a goddamn motherfucker the committees are corrupt yeah everywhere you go everything is corrupt the same people in the same committees yeah predetermined everything esports is corrupted predetermined yeah, um, online tournaments are, uh, are predetermined and corrupted. Um, bad sites that never going to be off the internet are corrupted. Yeah, because they have people sitting there in the back uh, um, attacking a denial of service, attacking your network. And they especially did that with FIFA back in the days. Yeah, when uh, if you got a DC or a disconnect, uh, then you will lose the fucking game. Yeah, so they were uh, attacking your fucking network, especially on these wager sites, also in the hands of developers and people from in the industry. You saw that with T. Martin and, uh, and uh, Tom the Pro Syndicate, yeah, um, having these uh, illegal gambling sites, uh, the Counter Strike uh, skin sites. Um, that and these, this is all, this, these are the practices of these fucking kids that think they're never going to get caught because there are people teaching them how to fucking. Uh, manipulate the system, yeah? You can see Marco style is now not a division content creator uh, anymore. I went to, uh, uh, went to uh, Destiny 2 at this moment, yeah? Because Marco style and his fucking group, they got in PDF world first on raids on the division 2, yeah, from, from Ubisoft. Yeah, from massive entertainment, from people that they knew within the uh, uh, people who they knew um, how to do the raids. And this is what I try to explain to people. It is with every fucking game that you play now, as a normal casual gamer or, uh, or an ex-professional or a guy like me that was a top 100 world player, you don't stand a chance anymore. You can be the best, you can spend 8, 10, 15 hours training, you can uh, have fucking the meta jerks sitting there calculating everything, what's the best in slot and crap like that, because I've never been a manager. Yeah, I always had other, other people do, do the meta. And uh, it is just the way that it is nowadays. The gaming is a corrupt fucking business, a made-to-believe fucking business, yeah, where they spend millions of fucking uh, money and how to manipulate young audience. 
They are manipulating everything. They're buying over politicians. They're buying over judges. They're enforcing fucking policies. Yeah, everything is predetermined. Everybody's in the same fucking committee. Or don't you fucking uh, think that Phil Spencer is not talking to Bobby and Jim Ryan? Don't you fucking think that these companies are not talking to each other? Don't you know, that, don't, don't you have any idea how this fucking shit works? Then they're always the fucking bulls of China that hacked you and Russia that hacked you. They are gathering your goddamn data and they're selling it. Your trash data, what they call trash data, your geolocation, your, your purchases and everything else, they are selling it. They are selling it to multiple fucking companies. That's how they are making money on the supply. And then they're telling you that you're being hacked by China and Russia. And then why are they selling the data? I'm a European fucking uh, um, gamer and I should be protected. We have the GDPR, the European Data Protection Regulation, and it is forbidden. But they're still doing it. And the reason why they're doing it because you have to sign an end user license agreement on these consoles, on these fucking games. Uh, user generated content that's going to be stolen from you. If you make something that they like and they want, they steal it from you and they slap you with a copyright strike or any other kind of fucking legal repercussions because you made something they want. They can make money off of it, they can make tons of money off of it. So if you create a user generated content, then, then you're fucked up. Just the same shit with Warhammer, just the same shit with fucking now Wizards of the Coast, yeah, with their, with their nonsense the whole goddamn time, yeah. If they can steal something from fucking educated users or people who are spending a life work for other people and themselves to enjoy a product that is fucking half-baked, yeah. Minimal viable products, death on arrival, but the cash shop fucking works. Why is there no law against that, that the cash shop can only function if the game is functioned? We saw that with Darkness, the, the, the release of Darkness on console, yeah, nothing fucking worked. The single player didn't work, the co-op didn't fucking work, the multiplayer didn't fucking work, but the cash shop worked. You, you could buy the most fucking expensive thing in the cash shop, but as soon as you want to fucking use it in-game, you couldn't fucking use it because nothing is working. Why is there not a goddamn fucking law, uh, a policy in there that when the game doesn't function correctly or when the multiplayer or the co-op of the fucking single player doesn't function correctly, that the cash shop is not allowed to be up? No, because they want the cash shop up because you are paying to fix their problems. The whales are paying. The fucking people with OCDs are paying. The people with addiction, gambling addictions are paying. Yeah, it's a complete goddamn shit fest. And I'm tired of explaining to you people, yeah, as an educated fucking person, yeah, who's been dabbling in the shit for more fucking than a decade, that the, um, um, the, um, what is the, um, how is it called? Uh, you have um, dynamic scaling and shit like that. They have to file in an... Uh, oh, how is it fucking called, man? Oh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm... Sometimes English is not my native language, so I have problems remembering uh, some things. Uh, uh, where they license something... So they have an idea and they're going to license something so nobody else can, uh, um, can um, steal their idea. Like dynamic scaling and having, a, um, having software running in the back of this, you're gathering your information as well on console, as well on PC now with the so-called anti-cheat. I, I, forgot, I, I forgot how, how it is, uh, but it, they, these big companies file in, uh, they, they file in with some company and it, it explains exactly what they want to do. And uh, um, so you can't fucking copyright uh, that, that fucking shit. It is copyrighted and things like that, like services. But yeah, um, uh, it's the same shit with Activision telling lies with a new engine, new engine, that they're still renting their engine from ID software. It is, uh, why are these companies uh, able to do that? Why are these comp companies able to, do, to tell continuously lies? mis and death information, misleading marketing. Why are these companies allowed to do so? When we had misleading box art back in the day, we fucking filed in complaints about it. You cannot have a fucking 8-bit game looking like it's a goddamn fucking man manga or, 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 or something, or an anime movie. You can't. And they won. So they were forbidden to fucking highlight or distribute fucking box art that didn't represent the fucking product. 
Yeah. But now you fucking goose are sitting there and you're all ass calling the developers, publishers, shareholders, board members and investors. Yeah. Um, just fucking to get a piece of the pie. You're literally being trained how to fucking lie and deceive the public. You're being fucking trained how to manipulate every outcome. You guys are being fucking trained how to fucking corrupt the whole industry because you're all addicts. You're sex addicts, you're dope addicts. Yeah, you're getting a fucking hard on a dopamine rush about another fucking scheme, Ponzi scheme, pyramid scheme within the goddamn industry. And you do not give a fuck nor that you are interested in the fucking problems that, that we will create for next generation gamers. So if you are a rich, uh, rich, um, entitled, biased motherfucker, and you have kids, and you buy your kids in, your kids become pro, your kids become coach, yeah, and y your kids will become millionaires, sitting there playing fucking video games. But if you are not somebody with a $10,000 setup for mommy and daddy, sitting there at Twitch, uh, six-year-old, easy to manipulate, easy to be indoctrinated by these fucking people, easy to be fucking managed, yeah, because they will teach you how to speak and they will teach you and they will tell you what to say in your videos. And if you are a nice little fucking puppet to the puppet master, you'll become somebody from IGN or you become somebody in the gaming industry. Yeah? So let, let's, see, let's see the Twitch board that uh, should be there for, um, uh, against harassment. Cousin of Homosexual, gender-confused fucking people, by uh, transgenders. There's only a fucking board that is, is there to represent minorities. Where are the heterosexual, uh, heterosexual white, occasional fucking males? Hmm? No, no, that's, uh, that's, that's bad. Yeah, every goddamn Call of Duty lob lobby that you go in, the N-word this and the N-word that. Yeah, but when you as a white Caucasian or Mason, the fucking N-word, then you're fucking racist. They are mocking us with their fucking policies, and it seems that the only people who can fucking abuse and abuse this are these fucking minorities. These cry fucking babies who've never been picking cotton in the fucking field that are fucking bought heard about something that has been, been done ages ago. Do you fucking, do you think that there were no white slaves? Hmm? Me as a white occasional um, omnivore, yeah, not some fucking veggie eating, fucking delusional, gender confused motherfucker, um, thinks that is being discriminated at this moment at everything he does, as well as jobs, as well as getting a house, as well as playing video games, as well as age discrimination, yeah, because if you are in the industry and you're 40 years old and you're fucking millionaire, then you're welcome. But if you are 40 year old in the industry and you were top 100 world well player, then you're too old. Yeah, the double standard feminism. The not being uniform anymore. Yeah, bitches sitting in goddamn fucking work environments with the fucking skirt so high up that you can literally smell the pheromones. My name is Mark from the Capo Gaming. I sp I, I've been spoken to developers, spoken to fucking map editors back in the days. And it is more than 10 years ago that, this, that these practices, these welcome to the dark side of the gaming industry practices were being done continuously. Admin haters, abuse of fucking power, abuse of fucking in-house in tools. Yeah, and they don't give a fuck about it. Activision developers selling source codes on the dark web on hackers, models, and cheaters so they can create stealth mods so they can make money on the side. That is what is going on, ladies and gentlemen. And everybody from the gaming industry, from PR and management there, sitting there, the only fucking thing is what they're trying to do is trying to convince you that their policies are above the law. What they're trying to convince you is that they have full deniability that they don't know but in the meanwhile, they hire hackers, models, and cheaters in their fucking company. Geohot has been getting a slap on the wrist and being um, recruited for fucking Sony. So you can see what kind of people that they recruit and what kind of people that are running in the gaming industry. What hackers, models, and cheaters. These are not white hats. 
the most disgusting people that are running out there yeah, are being hired by the fucking industry. The biggest personality disorder, the biggest sociopath, the biggest narcissist have been hired by the gaming industry, spending millions on medical data, how to get dopamine rush, how to hook kids on their fucking game, how to milk out everything. So they actually also know how to completely ruin somebody socially. And you can clearly see that on my fucking channel. Nobody ever comes. No, nothing is ever being watched. Everything has been hidden. And as soon as I expose these assholes for what they really are, nothing from a bunch of fucking has been with fucking degrees that have been taught how to fucking answer questions that they're asking. Sitting there in the God of fucking companies, because these companies are not a democracy. Yeah, it's a dictatorship. It's a monarchy. Yeah, it is pure fucking Machiavellianism. Pure capitalism. Yeah, that they're being taught and being going up and up and up and up in the ranks in these businesses. Yeah, as long as they're a nice and, and, and agreeing little fucking puppet. As, soon, as long as they're doing exactly what other people want them to do. The hierarchy of a goddamn fucking multi-billion corporation, yeah, is as follow. There is no democracy. You do as you're being told. Every fucking thing in these companies, and you have to do ITIL for it, information technology infrastructure library, you know that everything has been blocked off. This is why um, sales doesn't know what Customer service support doesn't. Customer service support doesn't know what PR does. And PR doesn't know what Q&A does. And Q&A doesn't know uh, what you, HR does. Yeah? They keep that fucking separated yeah, for deniability. It's not a field of expertise. It's fucking for full deniability. My name is Marco from the Capo Gaming. Uh, I'm more than a decade now, I have to fight these people that you cannot fucking fight because you do not have the money, nor the resources, nor the team, yeah, because customer service support doesn't do shit about it, yeah, they throw it away. As soon as you ask legal for your data, somehow there is no data anymore on their servers because there's an asshole from security that will wipe everything from your account. That's how the gaming industry works. And that's why they did everything digital. Because it's easier for them to manipulate, just manipulate ones and zeros than that you, have, that you actually have something written on paper yeah, that you can fucking present. That is the reason why we're going to a digital era. And I told this numerous times, if people do not want you to succeed, it is easier to manipulate ones and zero than written words on paper. Because you cannot retract or erase physical evidence of contracts or agreements. Have a nice day, guys. I'm signing off.